friends, Steve Okino here with History in the Hand. We are in the detector mobile with our faithful digging dog Mac in the back. And we are uh, going to uh, site for the first time today. Got permission to uh, look at this, uh, an area where there was a homestead on this. This is, well obviously, this is a road, but not just any road. This is the new state road of 1799. <laughs> not the old road, the new road of 1799. And uh, you can tell there was a homestead because there is what's left of old apple orchards out there. And uh, we'll head down here. I've known where the foundation of the house and the barns were for about 25 years. And, uh, but since I just picked up metal detecting um, last last spring or well, last summer, um, I this is my first chance to get down in here. So um, it'll be interesting to see what we find. So let's get digging. I'm a history nerd for sure, but I'm also a wood nerd. I have a wood shop and I make, uh, I make um, handmade percussion instruments, cajon drums to be exact. And one of the things that's absolutely cool is this monstrous white pine tree behind me. This baby is ginormous. In fact, I was able to find some aerial photography of the area from 1938, and this tree looked to be just about as big as it is now in 1938. So, all right, let's get to dig and see what we can find. See if we can find a little history to put in our hand. All right, let me show you what we've got here. Um, down, down, down there is one of the foundations of a barn. But this was the house right here. Um, it is, it's caved in, but it was a, it was a T-shaped, um, a T-shaped foundation. And uh, it looks like you can still see some of the stone um, stacked up there. It has caved in a little bit. Um, I can see there are some areas of brick and it looks like um, there may have actually been a front porch right out here in this area. So I'll have to make sure I check this out. Looks like maybe porch pillars right here. Um, I don't know. I did some uh, bush hogging in this area out in what would have been in front of the house and uh, no, these are what probably were porch pillars. These great big limestone pillars. So this will be very interesting to see. I have no idea how old this is. Um, it was not on the 1875 map any longer because the road has, had been changed. So I just don't know what to expect. Well, we've uh, we've met one of the accomplishments. Oh, good boy. Got Mackie here, my digging dog. Uh, you know, anybody who's ever, everybody, everybody who's ever dug around these old homestead foundations, there's one thing that you always seem to find, and I just found one. Are you ready? It's the rusty hinge. There's always a rusty hinge, and I just found it. Unfortunately, I'm putting it in the left pouch, not the right pouch. The right pouch is the good pouch. All right, let's keep looking. All right, we had a, <clears throat> we had a really good, clear signal, and this is exactly why. This, this reminds me of a Chicago song. 
<laughs> Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? All right, I would say that is the, uh, the internal plate of uh, some kind of clock. Uh, it's brass and it had four, I'll bet you these are, I'll bet you those are threaded iron screws. So at some point in time, somebody decided this clock was not worth fixing. So they gave it the heave ho. Could have been accidentally dropped, but probably not. I'm not sure why a clock would have been out in the lawn in front of a, a house. Um, I don't see any writing or stamp marks on it, but pretty interesting. On to the next. <clears throat> well, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you, uh, I thought I heard a little bit of an iron grunt. And now I know why. Um, this old horseshoe must have come off a long time ago. Boy, it looks pretty twisted. I don't know if that was bent when it was pried off or by a farrier or whether it just pulled off. But I believe that that was a working horse because it has a cleat on the front for traction, who knows? But uh, this was a this was a pretty good farm. So let's keep digging. Another horseshoe. Well, all right, another find. And uh, this is also quite common finding around these old homesteads of of uh, northern Pennsylvania. Um, we have ourselves the brass reed plate of a harmonica. And uh, this looked like it would have been a, a standard size one. So I've only found one that was larger than this, but uh, that's what we've got there. And you can always tell a harmonica plate because of the incrementally smaller um, punch outs where the small uh, brass reeds would vibrate back and forth. It's very possible we'll find another part of the same instrument. Hard to tell whether it was dropped accidentally or whether so many of the reeds had broken off from use that it just got given the heave ho. We, we don't know, but we are holding a little history in the hands. Hey, what songs do you think they played on this? Interesting question. All right, let's keep digging. Well, one of the things that we, uh, we find pretty often accidentally while we're looking are broken pieces of old ceramic flatware. Here's a piece of coal, which of course here in Pennsylvania wouldn't be that surprising. We also find a lot of uh, shotgun brass. Um, but, and I know there are people that, uh, that know a lot about them and the date um, of some of them, but this has a fairly, I'd have to, I'd have to do some research on this 12 gauge Winchester, but then it says new black. So I imagine this was right as they were going from black powder um, to, to modern powder. Um, but it's, it's low brass. Of course, there was, a, there was a paper hull on that. But if anybody knows uh, Winchester new black, the approximate age, I'd be interested to find out. Anyway, let's keep on digging. Uh, we always find incidental items that looks like it was the bottom of a kind of some sort of decorative 
glass piece, possibly maybe a candle holder, not really sure. But that is, that's a nice little piece of history to hold in our hands. Ooh. Oh, now that's cool. <laughs> Looky there. That appears to be a watch fob. Wow, that is nifty. What do you think about that? If I pick that apart with a... I don't know. Well, I don't know if it is to scale or not, but there, there certainly aren't 50 stars on that flag. Oh, that is nifty. Beautiful piece. History in the hand, right there. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's get back to digging. <clears throat> Before we found the obligatory rusty hinge, and uh, another item that almost always is found around old homesteads is the, uh, I'm not sure what to call them, but this, this would have been <clears throat> from a kerosene lamp that uh, the, the wick would travel up through. So we almost always find these. Um, And uh, this one's been smushed a little bit, but um, there's the hole where <clears throat> the adjustment rod would have gone through. And uh, this would have screwed onto a glass bowl full of kerosene. So um, very common brass. What would happen is they would wear out so that they wouldn't push the wick up and down anymore and out the window they'd go. So uh, that, not surprising for, you know, 25 feet from an old foundation. Friends, I hate to show you this. There, have, there is evidence here of horrendous, terrible, unfathomable abuse that has occurred here. Look at this. This. This is an ax head that's been broken off from being hammered on. And would you look at the cutting edge. <laughs> I can't believe someone would do this. <laughs> oh, if, if the story could be told on this. Oh my. Well, I can see why it was cast off. That's for sure. Um, but that looks like an old one. Wow. Not surprising. Here on the the new road of 1799. Wow. Okay. 20. 24, 25, very clean. It, uh, it's baiting me into thinking there might be a nickel here. So, when it, when it turns out to be a 22 shell, no.
Nope. It is just, it looks like it's just a piece. of harmonica reed. About the same size as a nickel. Could have been a shield, but instead an old musical instrument. And we got history in the hand, baby. History in the hand. Well, Mac the digging dog has found some mud. Can you believe that? It's almost hard to believe, but he did. He found it. Got a nice, got a nice 75 signal that I think, yes, 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 yes. Come on, be a penny, not a penny. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's kind of nice. I think, yeah, that is a fancy, clock winder um, oh pretty very ornate you know earlier we found that plate from a clock this this could have been this could have been from this could have been from that Pretty nice. Um, I'm, I don't know if that was certainly a clock winder or whether it had some sort of little key coming out. Can't really tell because of the rust. But hey, that's a little bit of history in the hand right there. Nice, we'll take it. Listen, I gotta get going, get back to work. It's. Uh, gonna rain anyway so it has been good digging with you today let's let's finish up um, I came across this when I was looking uh, when, I, when I was just exploring the area and even though I've been coming to this area for a long time I see what appear to be two rows of grapevines and these things are enormous um, I would not be surprised if these were planted by the folks that were in that homestead. And now since, there's been a bunch of crab apples um, that have grown up here, but and the vines have, you know, continued to grow even long after the family was here. But I could imagine that these that these grapevines provided grapes for jams and jellies. I don't know if they made any wine but they, they are oriented west to east in the little rows that they're planted in. So they would have gotten all the sun that came up in the summer and traveled all the way along and before setting. So it, we've, it's not history in the hand, but I can only imagine how many grapes grew uh, here for that family. Pretty cool. All right, Mac. After we wash you off, we're out of here. We're in what remains of one of the big barn foundations. And let's just look at what we found today. Uh, found that huge strap, which I, I want to say that that was something from a, uh, a wagon tongue. But I'm not certain. We found the axe. We found a bunch of strap iron. We found this old pulley, which I'm assuming was off some kind of farm machinery, found a horseshoe, the obligatory rusty hinge. We found a clock winder and possibly a plate from the clock that it came off. We found that really cool little watch fob. We found a gigantic lead fired bullet and a modern, modern bullet, some 22 shells. This is that new black Winchester 12 gauge shotgun hull we found uh, I, don't, I have no idea what that is maybe 
windshield wipers found two of these brass items not sure what those are for but they look pretty specialized found a bunch of brass plating found our um, found our combustion chamber for um, a kerosene lamp and lots of pieces of harmonica so that ends the day it's getting there's it's cold and it's gonna snow soon so we'll uh we'll end with a reminder if you're not looking for it you're not gonna find it see you later well what do you do when you what do you do when you have a dog that's covered in mud and you need to take him home to your wife well what you do is you get a rock Mackie, get it. That's exactly what you do. Now, it's March, and that is just as cold as could be, but he doesn't care, and he'll be clean when I go home. <laughs> Life hack from Steve.